Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, with Prey right around the corner, I thought I'd make a video r real quick on giving you guys some tips on how to progress in the story. Uh, stuff I learned from playing the demo. Uh, I found five things that uh, could be useful if you ever find yourself stuck and you can't get it to access new areas. Uh, other than, you know, obviously you gotta be on the lookout for key cards. And you gotta upgrade your hacking and your leverage because you can pick up things and move them out of the way to get into new doors. But other than that, uh, starting with number one, the wrench. So right in the beginning of the demo you have to uh, break out of your room using the wrench and uh, breaking the glass. So be on the lookout for any breakable glass if you ever get stuck and you're looking for uh, new areas. Uh, not all glass is breakable, sometimes your wrench will bounce off, but it, it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, and then here in this part, I couldn't access this room, but if you break the glass near the computer, you could reach in and open the door by using the uh, touch screen. So just be on the lookout for anything like that. Just think of the environment as like a 360 degree environment, looking all around you. And don't be afraid to hit, hit things with your wrench. I found out that if you hit these fire alarms, some of them have uh, secret compartments with hidden items. So, you know, don't be shy with your wrench. Always be on the lookout for uh, hidden items. Number two is these overhead ducks. And there's a part in the demo where they give you a choice to either find a key card or find another way. And then the other way is through this maintenance hatch. So you find something to jump up on to open the access panel here. And then you can bypass the, uh, the door. And like I said, just always be on the lookout 360 degrees if you uh, ever get stuck. Number three, make sure you read all the emails, go on all the computers. See so here, I, I picked up a new key code from just reading an email. Uh, make sure you check dead bodies. Make sure you look for notes, like there's a post-it note on that computer you could check. And just always be on the lookout for uh, for different items to, to read because they could provide new key codes and they can even provide new missions, like this one provided a new mission. And like I said, check dead bodies and you can get items and you can get keys. and. Uh, help you access new areas. Alright, number four is the uh, glue cannon. You pick it up pretty early in the demo. Uh, not only can you use it to shoot enemies, but to freeze them up, make them easier to kill. You could also use it to create jumping platforms. Yeah, that tells you right in the description when you pick it up. If you notice, it creates those rock-like formations. Uh, you could use those to create bridges to reach new levels, uh, higher up uh, access higher areas like here I used it to access the second floor this is where I picked up the uh, stun gun and I noticed it was you could use it in the elevator shaft too uh, tight elevator shaft you could fire one off jump turn fire and just repeat all right number five is the uh, bolt caster you, you find this uh, little toy gun and then you probably first you're wondering what the hell am I gonna do with this but it's actually very useful if you for some reason there's something blocking a door and you see a button, you can uh, fire off a foam arrow to uh, open the door, get early access. Like here is the security room. You pick up a key card for it, but if you want to access it early, uh, I put down a little platform so I could have a level level field there. And then I use the scope, zoom in, and then you uh, just give the button a smack with one of the darts. And then you could also, these are, you could pick these bolts up too so you could reuse them. Alright guys, that's it. That's uh, five tips I had from playing a demo. Uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty simple, but I feel like just those tips would get you through uh, through the game if you uh, ever get stuck and you can't figure out how to progress. But the um, game comes out in two days on Friday. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody's saying it's a combination of Bioshock and Dishonored. Two great games, two of my favorite games, so I'm really looking forward to it. So if you guys are interested, uh, check out my channel. I'll be uploading on Friday. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.